Okay, so we're going to look at factorising quadratics in two different forms. Initially, if it's in the form of the purple, which is x squared minus 3x equals 0, or x squared plus 12 equals 0, then we're going to have to factorise out just the x. The only thing that I've got that's the same in both is just the x term. There's nothing numerical that goes into 3 and 1 other than 1, and that doesn't change it. So I factor out the x, so I bring my x outside of the brackets, and it's going to be in the form as the pink one. You can see the colour code on the, the screen. The pink ones will be in the form x bracket x, and then the value that is the coefficient, the number that is in front of the x that I'm multiplying. So when it's a form with two terms and no constant, it's always going to be in the format of x outside the bracket and then x minus 3 inside the bracket in this case. Okay. So if we look at the next one down, just change colour, we've got the x. So again, I can only take the x out and then x plus 12 is going to go inside my bracket. Now if we can try and think what happens if we were to expand this, okay, x times x is going to give me my x squared, x times positive 12 gives me back to my positive 12x. So all you're doing is the reverse of the expanding if it was in that form. So just getting rid of that explanation at the bottom. Okay. Now you might want to look at it and think, well actually if we just scroll up a minute, Okay, and we see the other two that we've got, this one here and this one here. If I took the x out from an x there and I took that two off, I've taken my x outside of my bracket and what I've got left is in effect what goes in my bracket, x plus five. Okay, and I look at c, the other one, again take the x out, alright, now I've got my x outside the bracket, what have I got left? I've got x in the first bit, minus, now my x is gone, but how many x's did I have initially? I had 1x, so it's going to be negative 1, okay? And again, I can then start, that's the factorising done, uh, that's the more difficult bit, now I'm going to look to solve 4x. When solving 4x, question tells me that these are all equal to zero and all I'm going to do is imagine that in between the x and the bracket I've got a multiplication sign. Okay, They're all squeezed next to each other so they don't write the, exp uh, the multiplication sign. But that's what's happening. And thinking back to how we did it in lesson, x is one term, x plus 5 is another term, Okay, and we're saying that either of those is going to equal zero. What I need to do is solve for x. Okay, this one is already solved for x, so x equals zero, or x plus five equals zero, so x is going to equal negative five. I change the side of the value, take it from one side of the equals to the other side, and change the sign from positive to negative. So change the side change the sign. It's exactly the same on each of the others, so if we look at the red one here, okay, one value is x, so x is going to equal 0, x minus 3 equals 0, so if I move that over to the other side, x is going to equal positive 3. Change the side, I'm adding 3 this side, and I'm adding 3 this side, the 3 and the 3 will cancel to leave 0, and I've just got positive 3 on the other side of the equals, hence x equals 3. Looking at the pink one, I've got my x is equal to 0, so that one's done, and I've got x plus 12, or x equals negative 12. Hopefully you're seeing a pattern, we're moving that over the other side and solving the equation for x. And the last one, 
x equals 0 or x equals positive 1. So that's in the form when we've just got an x squared and an x term with no constant. Okay. Then we're going to go and have a look at when we've got three terms. If we've got three terms on a quadratic, we're always going to put it into two sets of brackets and make them equal to zero. So to do that, we're going to have to factorise. So looking at the first one, x squared, this one with g, x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals zero. Remember, it's the same process as always. We're multiplying to make the last term. We're adding or subtracting to make the middle term. Factors of 4, 1 and 4, 2 and 2, which is the only one that I can use that I can add to make 4. All right, They're both positive, so it's got to be 2 plus 2. Can't be the first term, that's the one I'm going to use. So positive 2 plus 2, we can now put it into my bracket. Two sets of brackets, x always in the first part. Positive 2, positive 2 equals 0. Now we can see that the brackets are both exactly the same. So on this one, there's only one solution. Okay? Because x positive 2 equals 0 is exactly the same as x plus 2 equals 0. Solving for x, take 2 away. Take 2 away from there, my x equals negative 2. My x equals negative 2. So I've only got one solution, it's at the same point. So if I was to plot that graph, there's my graph, my x axis going this way, okay, and my value is negative 2, negative 1, negative 2. So at that point there, my graph would come down, just touch, and go back up again. On to the next one. Okay. x squared minus 3x minus 4. Again, we're looking to see the factors of 4, 1 and 4, 2 and 2. What would I need to do to be able to solve, to make it add or subtract to negative 3? Remember I've got to make it equal negative 3. 2 and 2 won't. The only two things I could do is 2 take away 2, which would equal 0. Or 2 add 2, which would equal 4. So that's not going to work. So it's got to be 1 and 4. x, 1, x. Four. What sum do I do to make it equal negative 3? Well, 1, take away 4, would be negative 3. Okay. 1, take away 4, equals negative 3. And again, you can see the negative 4 goes in there, the positive 1 goes in there. And now I can solve the equation. Okay. Which means x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0. Solving for x, take away 1 from each side, x equals negative 1. Add 4 to each side, which means x equals positive 4. So my two solutions, x is negative 1, x is positive 4. I'm going to do one more of these. So we'll look at the bottom one, x squared minus 15x plus 36 x squared minus 15x positive 36 equals 0 ok this time I'm looking for the factors of 36 1 times 36 2 times 18 3 times 12 4 times 9 6 times 6 and all the factors of 36 and I need to make minus 15 either by adding or subtracting. If I'm looking at these for a start, 
Uh, there's no way that 6 and 6 will make 15, no way that 9 and 4 will, 3 and 12 might, 2 and 18 won't, 1 and 36 won't, so it's definitely 3 and 12. Now what sum am I going to do? So 3 and 12 equals negative 15, minus 3, take away 12, gives me negative 15. Once I've got that, I can set my two brackets. X in the front, from my x squared, my negative 3 goes in one bracket, my negative 12 in the other, and we make that equal to 0. Last step, that means that x minus 3 equals 0, or x minus 12 equals 0. And again, solving for x, add 3 to both sides, x equals 3, or add 12 to both sides, x equals 12. And my two solutions are there. Thinking about what that means, solutions, remember, are where it crosses the x-axis. That means there's my x-axis, okay, there's my y-axis. So, one, two, three, so it's going to cross at that point. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's going to cross at that point, at twelve and three. And again, my graph's going to come down, cut the y and the x axis, go back up and on. Okay. So, as a sketch, this would be the graph of x squared minus 15x positive 36 equals 0.